Good morning, everybody. Look at those clouds. Quite the downpour over the last few hours. In Toronto, across the GTA. It is the season, though. It is sort of almost fall. A solar storm is speeding its way towards Earth. But don't panic. What do you no, have to do uh, there was a, a couple of days ago, there was a what's called a CME, corneal mass ejection. And that's a solar storm. And it exploded towards the Earth. This one is stronger than what we've seen in the past. So we mm. could have some problems with our GPSs this weekend or communications. Satellite sing signals. But uh, we could also have some northern lights. Ooh. In fact, it should be seen as far south as the northern parts of the U.S. So this weekend, look up. Uh, if, you, uh, if, you, if you are out there, look up. This was actually um, some, uh, this is actually the ejection itself as captured wow. by, by uh, satellites. Pretty spectacular looking. At 3,500 miles an hour. Isn't that amazing how they can capture that? Yeah. Luckily, it stayed far, far away from our precious Earth. No, no, no. It's coming towards us. Okay. Again, it's, don't it's, panic. It's, it's coming towards don't us. Don't panic. But it will dissipate. Will it not? Yes, it will. Well, our, you know what? It, it will it's, avoid and dissipate. It, 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 we're protected. Earth. We're, we're, we're protected by, by our atmosphere, by, by uh, our... Batman? Yes, by Batman as well. <laughs> and Superman will and be. And Iron Man. Okay. They got this. But yeah, that, that's that's the beauty. That's the beauty of, of our of our our Earth is that yeah. we are protected by most of the solar winds and that. But we, we could things. we could touch off some uh, northern lights. I think that's what you might want to see this weekend. Which would be very cool. Would be very cool. Also very cool. We like to make the stars feel at home here during TIFF. It is not over yet. So we said let's bring in a staple. Yes, we love our burger joints. But when you go south of the border, you must have the In-N-Out Burger. Yeah. We know this because during our trip to LA for the Grammys, everybody said, you got to eat the In-N-Out Burger. And we're like, how could it possibly live up to the hype? So after what, like a 16, 18 hour day, we all ventured were we, in. Were we coming home from a party? It was, it was the, the, party, the, the, the Canadian, Canadian consulate. The Canadian consulate. consulate. That's right. Party. Do, we, do we have that picture, you know, Winston? Those parties, they're very swanky, but they never have oh, that, food. That was us at the In-N-Out Burger. So everybody was there, you know, in their jeans and t-shirts, and we stroll up uh, in our Winston, sequence. Winston, you've grown up so much since then. <laughs> Just want to point that out. And like 20 of us <laughs> went in for some chow. There was such a long line. And then everybody on Twitter in Canada who's familiar with the franchise told us about all this secret code stuff when you order things so you can get like gourmet toppings that aren't even on the menu. And the beauty of it, they have all the calorie countdowns and it's a good price. Well, it's coming to Toronto. For one day. Only. It's a pop-up store, and they do pop-up stores uh, quite often, right, Winston? Yeah, so uh, the, they're going to be at the Osteria del Gensi, or Gensi Osteria, uh, on Jarvis Street, just north of Wellesley, from 11 to 3 p.m. today. And uh, you can, you'll have to line up, and they're, they're saying they're, they're giving, giving wristbands, wristbands at 9, nine this morning. Which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, and actually our friend Adam Wild at KISS 925 was talking about it yesterday on his radio show, and he, he was saying that there might be some speculation that this is potentially... You know, something like a trial balloon, a maybe? trial, trial balloon. balloon, and maybe they'll be coming to Canada. It, but it, it's always tough to tell when we have these huge American franchises that come and we think there's going to be huge lineups. Remember Krispy Kreme? It was in every. It, um, we, it was, what was it? A uh, uh, gas station. Gas station. No, no, no. Had now, now it is. But but oh, Krispy Kreme. The stores, when right. they, two stores opened up in the GTA a few years ago, and they were expected they were just going to be sellouts all the time. They be, couldn't keep up because they would line up in in Buffalo for it, but but the lines didn't materialize here in in Canada. It did for a few for, months. For, for no few, few few weeks, not even a few weeks. The novelty wore Very off. Very short time. The novelty quickly wore off. We didn't embrace it as much as you know. Same thing with Tim Horton south of the border. They don't they don't seem to embrace it as much down there. I, I mean, don't know why. Why? And they don't even have ketchup chips. How do they go on? <laughs> ketchup chips are like the best chip. Tied for dill pickle. Agreed. We'll be back with more breakfast television right after this. Barbecue chips. Just regular chips and dip. That's it. Now I'm hungry. <laughs>